So an inept mechanical friend of mine called me and said his blinker's not working and his headlight's not working in his car. A simple blinker that wasn't working, using some bulbs turned into something a little bit more major, but made me great make a great video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove the headlight on this Ford. I'm gonna show you the positive and negatives for the turn signal. I'm gonna show you how to repair a busted headlight ring which I would imagine this isn't the first time or the last time this is gonna happen to somebody. The first attempt that I do on the repair doesn't work, but it could work for you, it just didn't work for me. But I show you an alternative way of doing it that will work for everyone, I'm certain. So I hope you enjoy. Hey, what's up folks? So today we're working on a Ford Festiva? Festiva? Festival? Hell, I don't know. Fiesta! You've got a turn signal that won't work on one side of the vehicle. I don't think it's going to matter what I ultimately ended up finding, but I'm going to give you some tips and show you how to take these headlights out, show you how these bulbs work, stuff like that. Simple, stupid stuff that you would think you would already know, but hell, I didn't know either. So let's go. So just in case you didn't know, my name's Clay with the Clay Way here in Muskegon, Grand Rapids, Michigan. No matter what it is in life that you think you can or cannot do, if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. Don't be the next to them, but be the first of you. And if you've got a question for me, I answer them for absolutely free on Facebook on Clay's AC and Auto Repair. Can't help you with baby mama drama, but I may be able to help you fix your whip. So this headlight is affixed on by a pushy, and I take out this screw right here and a T30 Torx bit. First release is right here at the top. This is a T30. We run down here, another T30. Now this looks like a screw, but it's really not. It's more like a pushy. What you do is push it back in. Kind of works like a screw. And when you want to get it out, if you start screwing it and it doesn't screw up like that, put one finger on the screwdriver and then the other finger down at the base and try to screw it up. You don't want to push down because all you'll do is push it back in. Gently remove it. Once you get that out, then all you got to do is reach up underneath there and you'll be able to get that part out as well. This works on the same on both sides. I removed this pushy right here. The reason I do it, it doesn't really hold anything on, but I don't want to tear up this seal right here. So I remove it. You can probably just get to it underneath with your fingernails if you can get them up underneath there. Pull the one piece out, then the other piece out. Now when you go to remove the headlight, you got to remove it just right. You gotta stick a screwdriver back here and you should be able to pop up on that. You pop up on that, you're gonna be able to pull it up. Now, one of the things you need to know is that clip sits in that pocket, yo. And you're gonna find one wiring connector right here. That'll just pull out. That wiring connector has a little rocker right here, which clips down inside there. Point out, it's not easy to get these low beams out with the headlight inside. With the headlight inside there, it's next to impossible. It's actually simpler to remove the headlight assembly itself and take it out. Trust me, you can do it, I promise. Now the complaint was that the low beams were not working on this vehicle and the turn signal wasn't working. So I replaced the turn signal bulb and it still wasn't working. I replaced the headlight bulb and it wasn't turned on to the correct position. Here on the selector, we have off, parking light, headlights, and I'm fairly certain that's automatic lights. And if you pull out on this, that's your running lights. Just in case you didn't know, this is your turn signal. High beam, O beam, no beam reflector. Back to what I was saying though. Here's the real problem I was having. I could install this turn signal with the headlight installed, but I could never get it to work. So I needed to remove the headlight to find the problem. Once I took the headlight assembly out, I realized what had happened here. That clip, this clip right here, got pushed up in there. So now I gotta fix it. Uh, somebody pushed it so hard, they broke the ring down in there. Hey, that really works out for you and me and Clay. At this point of the repair, I didn't realize that the ring was actually broken, so I thought all I needed to do was push the clip back on. What happened, there's a little clip that runs underneath here, and that clip, the tip of it, is broken off so we could take some glue and put it right down on here so this doesn't push back again and then once we pull that up we should be able to push this on probably with two hands 
it looks like it's got a clip or two broken because somebody inserted it incorrectly and wasn't timed properly when they went to push it down and they were trying to reef it down inside there. So we'll have to put some super glue on there. Taking my finger and putting it back there, then using a screwdriver, I was able to push that connector down. What we wanna be extremely careful of is to not get glue down in these areas right here. Glue here, here, up in here, where these larger gaps were. And when you're looking at this, you wanna make sure that these prongs are sticking out like they are here. Look at the side of it, you can see where somebody tried to install it improperly. So it pushes downward and turns clockwise to lock it into place. You just have to make sure that you have it in the correct grooves, which if you look at the top or you mark it before you take it out, then you'll know right where to put it back in at. And because most people don't put it in their video, I'm gonna show you what signals, positive and negatives, this should have when the blinker is turned on. When the blinker is turned on and activated, this is gonna be a switch 12 volts here. This is gonna be a ground right here. When the blinker is turned off and the parking lights are on, this is gonna be 12 volts here or battery voltage in either situation. And no voltage here with the blinker on. Now, after I super glued it, I put my blinker back in there. As soon as I put it back in there, it broke again. But hopefully all this information helps you the next time you're going to work on yours and you don't break yours like whoever broke this one. Okay, correction. Now, most people and any mechanic on the planet would probably just piss on this. I ain't doing this no more. But I have an idea. Repair versus replace any time. That's what I do in all of my videos, or at least I try to. Even if I'm not successful, I still try. And that leads you to fixing other stuff later on. Check this out. Since this side is the one that's popping down when I insert it, I'm gonna put a screw in the side of here to stop this from dropping down. I don't know how exactly how I'm gonna figure it out, but probably judging from what I put my finger back there. Oh, not back there. If I put the screw right about here where this line is, it should hold that from falling down. So gosh darn it, stick around. I promise you won't leave with a frown. But still allow the light to go in there. That's the hopes. What's the worst that could happen? It won't work. And I'll be at the same part I'm at right now. I need to stop the ring from dropping down in there. And it won't make connection, so it won't work. Here is gonna save us about a hundred bucks on a headlight. I mean, it looks perfectly fine, but a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. So I used the 1 16th drill bit, left it in there, make sure it's behind the ring, looks good. So I take and insert a self-drilling screw inside there, a number eight, and now, now I need to cut it off. That's in there, and that won't fall down. Now I got to take it out, just put a little mark on it so I know how far it can go in there, but where it'll still hold my plastic. And I can get rid of this nub here so my light can go back in there. I'm going to put a little bit of Permatex on this screw, and the reason for that is is because we want as little bit of moisture to get in this headlight as possible. Yeah, using the vice is very nice, y'all. Now I don't know if I have a hair too much sticking out, but we're going to try to insert it in there. Ten minutes later. Woo! Damn, bitches. That was a pain in the butt. Well, that turned out great. I got so preoccupied with fixing that turn signal, I didn't show you how to take out the headlight bulbs. I'm sure if you take this headlight out like I showed you, you'll be able to figure out how to get them headlight bulbs out. They turn counterclockwise, and I they just plug in and snap in. I, I greatly apologize. I usually like to add that stuff to my video, but, you know. If this video was helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notification, sharing my videos, giving me them sweet old thumbs up. And remember, no matter what it is in life you think you can or cannot do, if anyone else can do it, I promise you can do it too. I swear to you. Don't be the next to them. Be the absolute first of you. God bless, folks. Have the best of days.